Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning. Hoping all is well with you out there today as always. I don't know why, but today I'm feeling quite sympathetic for those who are in the legislatures of many, many states around the country. And the reason being is because it must be super confusing to have to think about, like, Kratom legislation when you don't know what Kratom is. You're looking to the authorities uh, you know, or supposedly supposed to be the authorities on the subject. And they're saying that they tried to ban it three years ago and they wanted to ban it again. And then you're looking at the World Health Organization saying it's not really worth the time. And then uh, you're looking at a bunch of advocates come out of nowhere and calling you and saying, don't ban this, it saves lives. And you're fe- hearing from a few people, well, it killed my son. So it's like, wow, that is a lot to take in as a legislator, I would assume. And it seems to me that there aren't really many things like that around anymore. That's the interesting thing. I might be completely wrong about this, so if I'm totally off base, you know, call me out on it. Let me learn, please. But um, it seems to me like there's not many things that legislators completely and totally 100% have no opinion on yet necessarily. Yet. You know? It seems like a lot of things are kind of divided based on party or ideology or what they got elected on. It's like, this one it kind of has the benefit of not really being the main issue of America right now, you know, even though I think it's becoming increasingly well-known and becoming more of the conversation, it isn't quite there yet. And so since it's not front and center, it's not the sort of thing that's going to get them reelected or not reelected, but they are realizing that it's a big deal and that if, you know, there's something about it that could go right, then that'd be great. And if there's something about it that can go wrong, they do not want to be the ones who voted to keep it around. So, all this and saying, wow, what an interesting and confusing situation they must be dealing with. I'm certainly not envious, (laughs) that's for sure. But, you know, at the same time, I just kind of am thinking about all this and thinking, you know, they need some guidance. Like, they need some guidance that's not lobbying. Um, And I think that the lobbying from the Procreatum side is probably pretty intense. And then they also need some people who are like, maybe a little more skeptical of Kratom talking to them who aren't saying like, this killed someone I love and we just need to ban it. And, you know, all these other people are crazy, you know, like it's kind of a a different unofficial kind of lobby in a way. And, um, you know, I, I, I just think that it's, it must be very difficult to be them and have to take all this information in unless they know what it is, you know, and how are you supposed to know? Plus, think about it. They keep on saying in all these different KCPA, you know, discussions, Kratom Consumer Protection Act discussions, that they need to look at what the FDA is doing and they need to look at what the DEA says and all this stuff. And of course, then they look at it and they're like, well, according to them, it's bad. And then you realize, well, they tried to ban it a few times and it didn't work. So here we are, you know, now what? Do you want to go back to that drawing board again, you know, or do we want to try something new that um, might actually resolve the situation? Or at least, I don't know, let's put some thought into it, you know? This is one of those few things where I think there's a lot of potential because of that very reason. People need to think about it, you know, to even vote on it to begin with. Like, unless you know what this is, you're going to have to do some digging. This isn't like those hot button issues that are out there. 
Um, and again, never getting into politics. But for example, this is not like the discussion over whether or not um, the government should play any role in terms of what firearms should or shouldn't be allowed uh, in the everyday person's home, for instance, right? That's something that I hear a lot of debate about out there. And um, it, it's pretty clear to me that a lot of people get elected based on their views on that. And then with this, well, you don't really know. You, you have no idea what the people want because they don't even know what Kratom is either. <laughs> So it's like, other than the group of people who do, no one does. And it's and yet here it is knocking on their doorstep. And it's this fringe thing with lobbyists and people who are opponents and, and everything coming at them all at once saying, we want this, we want that. And they're saying, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> you have the government who's saying, well, we tried to ban it twice. And they, you know, the legislator's like, well, when was that? I don't even remember that. And um, it kind of becomes a mess afterwards. So anyway, I think that it's really crazy. I think it's kind of neat, and I'm very glad I'm not one of them. <laughs> All right, that's my two cents today, you guys. I hope your day goes great, and we'll be back tomorrow. Take it easy. Hope you enjoyed this little snippet. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.